Hello, hello, and welcome to this video where I am going to um, play with some aroma point therapy for the Scorpio lunar cycle. And if you don't know me, my name is Jenny King. I am a licensed acupuncturist. I'm an aroma point therapist. I teach meditation through Qigong. And I am here today to um, help bridge this Scorpio energy uh, into and bring it into our body. So aroma point therapy is the practice of putting an essential oil on an acupoint. And when we do this, we create an archetype or a, an architecture of energy within our, in our body. And we use the oils to inform us and hold the space for a new way of being. And we do that through our intention with the particular oil that we choose and also the points that we choose. And we, it's like we're bringing in today, we're gonna bring in the Scorpio energy, we're gonna bring in some Cypress energy and we're gonna pair it with some acupoints along our midline to create this alchemy to really help us step in and embody and use Scorpio for our highest good and, um, and play. This is sacred play. This is, this is taking these, what's available to us and bringing it in to open up a conversation with ourselves, our spirits, our bodies, and our energy body. So are you ready? Let's do it. Um, so we're using Cypress oil and I'm using mine at a 50%. Um, I am gonna use a drop on my, on my, um, on my face. So you may wanna dilute it down a little bit more for that. You can kind of see um, you know, if you have any skin sensitivity, but I'm going to use, I'm going to use mine at a 50% both on my, my lower belly and on my third eye. So, um, a little bit about Scorpio energy. Scorpio is the fixed water of the Zodiac. So it's this, it's got, it's deep, <laughs> it's deep. It's like, if you think of, or feel into like really going under the waves into the depths into the unconscious, into the bottom of the ocean and finding what's there, like dropping all the way down and looking around. And where are the, what are the hidden treasures? What's, what's unconscious in that place? What's, um, what have we buried? What, what have our ancestors, where are the bones of our ancestors? So what's, what's in that space, um, in the depths of who we are and how can we bring it back to revitalize us? So Scorpio is actually ruled by Pluto, which is the planet of death and rebirth. And, you know, it's, uh, we don't talk about death enough in the society and the benefits and renewal that comes through acknowledging our death and acknowledging when things die, whether it's a period in our life, a, um, a person that we loved, a career that maybe was some, you know, a, a, a career or a relationship or anything that has run its course, its cycle needs to actually die so that we can be reborn. And, you know, even if you lose someone in your life, um, how can they be reborn within you? How can they be reborn as an ancestor, a support? You know, how do we, how do we work with death? So it's, isn't something that we fear, but it is, it's part of the beauty of being alive is that everything ends and everything is um, part of the cycle of life, death, life. So Scorpio, I feel like helps us. It's a very healing sign. It helps us go into the depths of who we are, bring it out and use it to, um, to really inform us about what is most valuable. And also for that deep, deep healing, because when we have fixed water, water's our emotional energy. When we're in with the fixed water, we're able to stay long enough to kind of move through something. And really, again, finding, finding the gold, finding the treasure there um, to help shift the energy. And so Scorpio rules, um, the things that are taboo, um, kind of like talking about death, um, our sexual organs, uh, our intestines, um, digestion, all of that. So it's kind of this lower belly, second chakra, first and second chakra area. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cypress oil. And interestingly enough, <laughs> cypress has a long history with um, death and dying and funerals, especially in the, the Greek tradition. And um, the Greeks associated the tree cypress with Hades, which is the Roman god Pluto. So. Here we go, there's our connection with Pluto and Cyprus and death. So we're gonna take 
Cyprus. And whenever I do aroma point therapy, I like to first take a nice deep breath and say hello to my oil. We're using a plant spirit, right? And then we're gonna use our attention. And our, our first point is on the low belly. It's about um, two inches up from the pubic bone on the center line. I'm just gonna put a drop on my index finger and a drop on my, or I'm sorry, I'm putting a drop on my middle finger and I'm just dividing the drop between two fingers. And I'm going to drop it in just about two inches above my pubic bone to a point that's called um, conception vessel four, also known as the gate of origin. And I'm just gonna sit. So with aroma point therapy, we're using a very light touch, staying in more of the mental, emotional, spiritual realms. Hmm. And when you put the oil on the point, it's a listening, it's a deep listening, it's a conversation between you and the oil and how it unlocks the energy in your energy body. And then how that begins to unspool and speak with your mind, your spirit and your body. And I'm just waiting, I'm sitting and I'm listening because if you do this with me, then you can kind of have a sense of like, you just, what, how it feels to be with the oil. So again, this is the gate of origin. That's the name of it. And it's, it connects us to our destiny, our curriculum as our life unfolds. It helps us connect into our ancestral energy. Again, it's kind of that first and second chakra area, which really resonate with the Scorpio energy. Now I'm gonna take my other finger, I should still have some oil on there and just place it up here on my third eye or in tongue, which is what it's called in Chinese medicine. And Cyprus is this, it has this quality of woodiness. I'm gonna release my lower hand. Woodiness that helps us come in and center. It's considered astringing. And I think of like any energy body, it helps us be upright in the face of the darkness. So it helps us drop down, but it also helps us reach up. Reminds us how tall we are and how deep we are. It brings in a sense of cohesion and stability so we can do the deep work of mining the gold. So that's, that's our two, two point and our Cypress oil combination for the Scorpio lunar cycle. And if you are, want to dive a little bit more into this with me, uh, I do have a, a new moon mini retreat coming up on October 25th. We are in 2022 and it is, you know, we have an eclipse too. So really, I mean, that is, we're, we're going into this place of upheaval and um, one thing that we can do to support ourselves is to do it willingly and to bring in our allies and, um, and, and look at the opportunities within the particular energy that's coming up 
And so we're using Cypress to help hold that cohesion and stability while we do the deeper work, while we go down into that second chakra and are able to stay in the depths long enough for things to you know, transform and then stay in our intuition of that, the deep waters of our intuition to bring forth the lessons. And again, the, the, what we've mined in order to help us um, heal, renew and begin a new cycle. But first we need to let the old one die and find its wisdom. So if you, I'll put some links below, if you want to know more about me and Aroma Point Therapy or my services, um, I'll put a link below for if you would like to join me for the Scorpio New Moon Retreat, if it's in right timing. And then also, um, I will put some links below to help you source oils if you're interested in working in this. I also have, if you'd like a um, free intro to Aroma Point Therapy course, and I will also link to that below if you'd like to learn more about Aroma Point Therapy and learn a, a mind, body, spirit protocol. Um, actually, we just use two of the oil, two of the points that are in the mind, body, spirit protocol, but I offer up other oils for those points to, again, tune the energy. So for this Scorpio lunar cycle, we are doing, we've got this trifecta of the Scorpio energy our Cyprus oil and our acupoints are creating the energy architecture for this particular lunar cycle. All right, if you're still with me, I thank you for joining me today and love to hear how this goes for you and so much love from my heart to yours.